ladies and gentlemen, oh, and welcome man. to uh, some Dota 2 action with myself, Fighting Pixel and Fog. We've got a banger of a match here that's already kicking off, and already first blood has occurred. It is a Gaming Gladiators against Liquid. Uh, a bit of a rematch, Fog, of course, from yep. the Grand Finals. A little bit of a change here and there, obviously, right? Well, with Liquid, 33 out, Saber Light in, and for Gaming Gladiators, Direccio out, and Watson. And we're going to see how those changes affect the matchup and who's able to come out on top in this first series of Dream League Season 24. And let's see if that last tournament that they all just played has any type of effect on this matchup too. This is definitely looking to be a pretty exciting one. I'm siding with what Panel was saying too. I did like Liquids a little bit more. It feels like they can be very aggressive and get the space for this Medusa. But Gaiman, getting first blood, definitely gonna help. Absolutely, of course, yeah, Quint able to get the, the pick yep. up on that, so... Oh, let's see if they can get him in return. They've caught him in the shards. Looking pretty dead. He's looking very dead. As Quint will try and run away, but will get charged down. So Gaming Gladiator is trying to fight back, but they are heavily outnumbered. Tofu has managed to get Insania pretty low. Won't be able to kill him off. So, uh, mid now. a little bit of revenge, <laughs> but now is exactly right. Well, Quinn got the first blood, but does subsequently miss a couple of creeps here and there. The last hit and then I, uh, but uh, yeah, I guess it was literally just one. So not too bad. I'm sure Quinn is still going to be very happy with the way that this one is starting. Yep, good lane for him too versus that Earth Spirit. Yeah, there's some little plays that can go around with the S versus the Storm, but overall Quinn should have a very, very good start here on the Storm. And let's look at these other lanes. They did end up putting Boxy on the Pugna for the four. They want to have this melee plus melee plus range to be able to harass. It is a strong lane to be able to put pressure on versus the Luna and the CM, but I haven't really seen the C uh, Luna struggle too much in laning phase lately, even if it is these type of pressuring heroes to get on top of you, so we'll have to see. And the CM overall, it does protect a lot versus that under uh, versus that primal beast in most situations, so I think watching should be pretty good down here. Sure. But overall, do you have sort of a vibe from one of these teams, one of these drafts that you're kind of liking a bit more? Feels a bit safer to play with. Yeah, I was saying that I think uh, at least a little bit for me, Liquids, just because it does. They have this like double save thing, this Pugna plus this Tusk with Medusa just feels pretty ridiculous. But gaming does have a very strong fighting lineup. Also early, they can snowball pretty hard, and they can scale, of course, very hard when they have the Storm Luna combo. So it should, it should, you know, should be pretty interesting series, pretty interesting game. Lots of aggression definitely can come out quickly here. These two mid laners definitely going to be the ones to watch. The spirits in every game. Every game. <laughs> every single game. So much. I, mean, I mean, these traps actually are... I feel like this is what we're seeing non-stop It lately. does kind of feel like, you know, no, no hero here is a, a surprise. No. Right? I mean, the Pugna is maybe the slight surprise in a way, right? I sure. But I guess out of all of them, the, the, the more yeah. so. But we have been, we have seen it, and we've, you know, we've seen it been run with the Deusa. Mm -hmm. uh, but everything else, it's all the familiar faces of this current patch showing up for this first game. As should be the case. As, of course, you know, with this tournament, it's quite a long one. We've got about, what, 15 days of gameplay sure uh, do. around that. I uh, highly expect that it's highly likely that by the end of this tournament, we're going to be seeing some pretty different drafts. I really hope so. I mean, maybe the patch also if we do get one. I hope of course, so. help that We're too, all hoping for that one. I think the amount of Luna versus Medusa that we're seeing in all these tournaments is definitely starting to get a bit sickening, but it's okay. It's all right. Looking at these lanes right now, gaming, doing a fantastic job in the oh. CS department, but they will lose Celery. Well, indeed, able to get in aggressive and take him down there. Sableye gets the kill. Yes, mid lane matchup. Quinn getting the edge as the Storm, and of course, is boosted up with that first blood. Uh, yeah, it shouldn't be too much of a bother for Nisha. We've seen many on our spirit not have an easy time in the lane, no. but get themselves back into the game with some really good rotations. And he could just like go for kills constantly if he does get a rotation, because Quinn is low. He's got Fairy Fire. Oh, oh the nether word. That was close, yeah. Good attempt there for Boxy to drop that down. He, he wants the kill, Boxy. He's got to get him. He's going for it, and indeed he will. Boxy making sure there that Quinn doesn't stand the chance of getting away from this. I've been waiting for... I, we do see people doing it quite a bit here, Saber Light. A little bit of a dive, but he's got the charge. Um, to get away. I've been wanting to see that more because it's just it's, it's spirits picked every single game, right? And it's just the storm spirit almost every time that I want to see those rotations. You know, when there's an earth spirit mid, you can do the kick under towers. You're gonna lose lane, but you can do these type of things to make you win these matchups that you don't normally win. So, oh, a lovely nice shot there from Insania. Pretty much max range catching Tofu in. They'll try and push Wicked back with a dead shot, but Tofu. Man. It looks like they, yeah, they can't actually commit for him here with Ace Big presenting stick. himself. Same time down bottom, Sable like, gets in Ooh. on top of Celery. Once Watson. Out of box, he takes him out. Watson oh my also goodness. ends up dying for that effort to try and fight back. That's pretty massive for them because if you look, Sable only has like 10 He yes. was struggling in that lane, but now they've just got a double kill between the two of them down there. 
That's beautiful. If they're able to get on the CM first like that, it's huge. They have multiple ways to slow down and stop the primal in the lane, but if Celery's dying first, it's gonna hurt Watson a lot. Yeah, I mean, no way to like double slow and hold him back. Yeah, you have a beam to stop a charge, but... Well, that's, that's the thing, right? I feel like getting kills like that in that lane, it, it, uh, it depends how you want to look at it. It's either great plays from Liquid or maybe, maybe some misplays from Game and Gladiators. You have to put the loose beam. You have potential methods, obviously, with the Crystal Maiden as well to yeah. hold the back those plays. And Liquid's finding chances to play around that and get killed. And Boxy left the lane. He left the lane and then came back and they got the kills right afterwards. He's level three and he has a vitality booster already queued up. He has boots, wand, and 800 gold on this pug now. Yeah, they gotta calm things loaded. down on that bottom lane. Gaming Gladiators, says they can't afford to give up any more kills. They're so close to maybe getting boxy there, but you can feel after the, He's baiting the recent events, they're being much more careful about trying for that sort of action. They're not gonna fall for that again. Yeah, he had they cannot afford to die. Uh, again on that bottom lane. Can they can, at this point now, it's like Saber, yeah, his CS is still not the greatest, but the kill threat, it's constantly there. Luna is fragile. CM too, if you don't get the stop of the charge. So they're putting a lot of pressure on this bottom tower. I made the move there for Ace, but Saber lined up the hoose stomp. Uh, Salary. Saber, they're going to be able to do it again. They were hiding for so long. Like, they were literally just missing out, I think, on almost two full creep waves because of the play that they went there. And Boxy's yeah. still just, yeah, playing safe. I mean, Boxy's on. getting so much done, right? What, 3 0 2. Pushing the limits. This is uh, some hot stuff here on the Pugna. And yeah, Vitality Booster done if he wants to go the route of that and go like something like an Atos. If he wants that, doesn't look bad at all this game when you're playing versus the Storm. Could be something cool. Yeah, sure. I mean, a, lo a lot of fours nowadays do love to ru ru rush the Atos, right? Yeah, I think it's like, that's why Mort is getting picked like every single game. People are trying to find the good four positions to be able to build it. So maybe Pugna is going to be on the rise. I'd love to see from Insania with the blocks and tell you what, it's going to go and work. They're able to close it onto Ace. Look at the hoof stomp out, but won't be able to run. Liquid. Getting the kills across the map. You sure see on the CS, all three of Gaming Gladiators' cores are farming that little sure. bit better. But the moves, the plays, the kills, and it's Watson. all favoring Liquid so far. And bottom lane. Is that a solo kill? It just continues. I mean, Sableite should die for this. Quinn comes in with a rotation. They have to make him pay a little bit. He's Lotus. got a Lotus and the stick, but won't keep him alive. I mean, they had to kill him for that. I mean, Sableite, he's getting away with making so many moves down on this bottom lane. All right, this is wild stuff. They're getting an insane amount with Boxy's Pugna and with just Saberlight alone. He's got face soul ring, yeah, 19 CS, but that net worth does not reflect it. He's doing excellent. He's top two net worth. <laughs> you know, he's bottom of the core on CS. They want to go top again, Nisha. Super aggressive. Still around, gets the slow on to Ace. If Ace has got any way out of this, I don't know if he does. As he'll slowly, but surely being chased down uh, by Nisha. Rune too. They got a TP going for it, okay. Because Boxy, I was like, where's Boxy? He's going for the wisdom while this play is happening. It's taken him a long time, but the job is a success. They get the kill. That's indeed Tofu. Uh, he was for gaming gladiators. They're able to make sure the box doesn't get away with that well. Because if they were getting away with making that play and also stealing the wisdom, yeah, you know, things was maybe starting to look a bit rough for gaming gladiators in this early game. All right, Liquid, I, they're in, insanely on top of things right now, though. You can tell with the movements, especially from Boxy, as he tends to do, has these really spectacular early games. They're on top of these little things because it's like, yeah, okay, these two heroes, they can kill this, and he makes that move to go for wisdom too. It's very heads up. Sure, I mean, he doesn't get it, but yeah. We're seeing on the net worth for Boxy. He's getting he's close to having the same sort of net worth as we're seeing on the Sensor. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. And it's a... I mean, we can discuss about the Pugna game in particular. It's a phenomenal game for it with the Medusa. Watson again... I look at these body blocks as well. I mean, Watson will survive, but... Backup has to come in. And we'll turn Boxy's up... Boxy's gonna full heal. The Nether Ward does not let Storm play. They'll be able now to finish the it. Nether Ward off. The turn over towards Boxy. They'll get the grab back. Good job from Quinn. Once again, doing what he can, really, to, to kind of keep this bottom lane in an okay position with his rotation. I mean, Quinn really is that X-Factor that's kind of salvaging this early game a bit yep. here. All three of those kills sure is the first blood and then the ones afterwards, but yeah, nice moves. But yeah, that's the Pugna thing. You're going to see that co constantly. That's the one thing about Storm versus Pugna that makes it really complicated is if that Nether Ward is down, he has, he's just going to be full healing constantly when you're zipping. Yeah. And so, if, if he's full healing, if he's surviving, right, he's getting the chance he's gonna to be save able to his do anything. teammates. Yeah. So that's definitely going to be a bit of a thing that we'll have to see how gaming responds to to answer later on. It's going to have to be somebody to deal with these double saving supports. So yeah, we'll see how Quinn and Ace, because they're the ones who are probably going to have to do it in particular, out. will be able to Quinn. do so. Uh, that was a tricky one there. They were going to see if they could try and trip Quinn up, but he had, had full mana. He's just going to try and chase on, but backup's coming in. Won't be able to get the opening stun. And Shep will be dragged back to oh. deep. Whoops. Anti synergy. Pulled him as he magnetized. <laughs> oh, he pressed magnetize. Oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I heard oh, the rumbling. Right, okay, yeah. I heard the rumble. Yeah, I was like, wait I, a minute. I didn't see no rumbling, but you're right. You heard it. Yeah, I heard Ooh. that. At least he had the arcane going. He did. 60 seconds, but uh, 
I mean, I gotta say, that's, that's probably on Nisha there. I feel like Insania made the correct call. He's like, Ooh. bro, we're not killing these heroes. We gotta get out. Blaming it. Nisha. <laughs> well, you're blaming Insania. I you gotta blame, blame one of them. I would take the blame <laughs> if I was Insania, though. Okay. That's my core with an arcade. Sure, it, that's true. In the moment, right? Yeah. You, you don't wanna keep Nisha. Like, you gotta keep him up. Feeling comfortable. Oh, well, what? Uh, what? Wait, what? Talk again? about not feeling comfortable. What? What is going on? He's dead again. I, I tip I don't know uh, what's going on, but I need to start watching the bottom of my he, he needs more than one tip, I feel, for what he's doing down there. This is some crazy stuff. 5-1 of 3. Over in the mid. Sustainia. They're trying to give Quinn the kills. They're trying to give him the last All hit. All on Tofu's, Quinn. Tofu's dance. I think the, yeah, the calling got the last hit there, but... Trying to pump up Quinn as much as possible. During nighttime, too, he does have that extra bonus damage, so... A little bit of extra thing that he got from the Luna there. But a 3k lead already. 10 to 4. Quinn. And he gets the haste Nisha. Quinn, is there any way to save him from this? Okay, he's got a lot of one he charges. Can zip away, but he might have to just full zip away. Oh, he's going in. Yeah, he wants to try and turn tape down Boxy. Boxy. Oh, Lays him. But well, maybe not. Is that Nether Ward? Is he going to be able to walk away from this? He's he is? moving. Oh my goodness, he survived. The Snowball comes in. The shards are out from his side. He's been able to trap Tofu in as well. Oh my goodness, How they are just Boxy playing too well. How does Boxy getting away with this? And Nisha? Oh, he wants it. And he's going to get it. He's yeah, he in. Keep the magnetize going. All right. All right, the cleanup crew's turning up pretty early in this game. Ten minutes in, 13 to 4. Gaming Gladiators. Looking rough. They are. It, it's a rough start to the game for, the, for them on and this look one. Look at the Nether Ward. It was in range. Boxy also had stick. Heals up. What a pull. And, and at that then point, yeah, Quinn's completely out of mana. They pop a stampede. It doesn't matter. The and ice Owen. shards are down. There's nowhere to run. And even though the magnetizer was wasted earlier, that arcane rune, it, it was It back really up. did. That you know, arcane meant up. that it was up for that play. Yeah. And it was up for that play. So it all worked out. Mickey's got the freest game in the world. There's zero pressure on this Medusa. Everyone's making all the moves around. They're pressuring Watson. They pushed him completely out of the bottom lane, and they're just having difficulties in responding. Yeah. A panel mentioned there was going to be a very difficulty in the early game based on the collapse they can do with these heroes with Saberlight on this Primal Beast with the Earth Spirit. I mean, the Pugna may be a bit of a... not one that was going to be diving as much, but he's doing insane work, and there's not really good ways to respond. These two fragile supports, they don't want to show up to these fights. They just die. This is going to be tough to slow down. Yeah. I think what the panel was talking about as well, when Mickey A hits these, what's kind of the, the three item timing, which he's going to hit very fast this yeah. game. And he turns up. Oh, it, it, it's good luck to the Lunar, right? You know, in it's, terms of timings, for Watson to try and match uh, the, the pace, or at least kind of keep the distance he wants mm -hmm. between him on a Lunar uh, and Mickey on the Medusa this game. It's, it's going to be very hard for Watson to get there now after he suffered in this early game. And it's a very enabled Medusa, as we're going to keep saying too, right? It's got Pugna, and it's got Tusk. So you've got Drinking Buddies, sure. and you've got the Drain constantly to be healing you up. So it definitely looks very difficult for gaming in this mid-game, now that the lanes did not go in their favor. I feel like they're kind of on some weird recovery mode. And Liquid could absolutely do this kind of... This game could end pretty fast, because Medusa is one of those heroes that you can get that early roast, you get like the Manta Butterfly, and you close the game. So, could definitely see Liquid play at that type of pace with this type of lead that they've got right now. So, gaming, they've got to respond, they've got to respond with, like, numbers and have to be ready for the moves faster. I think if they TP one by one to the dives that are happening from Liquid, it's going to be disastrous. I think either Dyer's CM or Tofu, maybe even both, have to just play together for these next upcoming moments until they have Ace being able to get involved. There we go. Probably one of the faster Atos times we've seen a position for Pug now. 12 minutes? Wait, what? Aye, that's crazy. Well, they've got more control now for the storm. And for the stampede, bro. And for the stampede, yep. Yep. Yeah, these timings are absurd. Dyer's they're farming new they're farming the ancients as a team. Dyer's middle tower is oh, liquid. Under attack. Looking for fights. Looking for Quinn. They get the jump on him. He's got the Atos. Yeah, with the Atos. They can very easily find the setup, and that's only going to continue before he gets the time to farm up his BKB, which is a long way away. I Owen, that's one of those moments where you, he literally goes, Boxy has a Atos? You know, it's like, what the I, hell is going I'd on? I'd imagine if this was a pub, Quinn would probably not be too happy with his teammates at that point. No. When, he see, when he sees this Pugna walk up and Atos him at 12 minutes in, he's going to be like, guys. He's like, wait, Pugna was a three, right? <laughs> Pugna was three, right? Jeez. That's got to feel rough. Yeah, this uh, is Boxy crazy. continues it. As he's up to the top, gets the opening onto Ace. It's a Ace. smooth Ace. 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 I mean, they may dive him. Yeah, they'll dive him. Oh, the TP's coming in. The TP's are coming. And they'll Isha. be able to punish this a little bit. Oh, will they? The heals. Boxy trying to get them with the saves on Anisha. Won't be able to keep Anisha alive. This time, Liquid biting off a little bit more than they can chew. As they will lose the three heroes. 
Oh, no, someone's scared. <laughs> oh, God, he's was going to die for a second. Yeah, but off more than they can choose, definitely. You know, they got excited. They, they, they got excited. They were feeling like, themselves. Were they going to dive the tower? <laughs> I mean, with everything else that's happened so far this game, you know, you can't blame them for being yeah. like, yeah, let's try and go for this as well. But this time, Gaming Gladiator is set up for it. And Watson able to get a very well needed double kill. So a little bit of a boost to help Watson get back into the game. And with that in mind, you know, he is not falling too far behind that Amike at all. That double kill really getting his game back on track. Whoa, what I miss? He's level 12 now too, yeah, his levels are actually pretty good. I mean, it's just huge kills for him. Yeah, they were massive, they're actually massive. I mean, couldn't have asked for a better moment for it to happen, because things were starting to really get out of control there, so. Yeah. And as we were talking about earlier on the panel, right, that the power at the throw, this patch this is, is pretty strong, right? You get this a little bit of a true. lead. If you make a few mistakes, though, it, it, it can really come back to hurt you. Definitely true. Tofu? Whoopsie. Okay. A few misspells here and there, and with the stampede out, yeah, Liquid's not going to get that kill that two of them may have thought would have been an easy one. Just really wanted to just full disengage, I guess, there. Okay. Don't know if the stampede was fully necessary, but that means that Liquid, they could look for dive plays versus no stampede. How long on the Eclipse? Eclipse is going to be back up in about 20 seconds, and Quinn is going for the shoulder. So the build that we saw popularized so much, I believe it was Wallachia was one of the first, I, at least I saw them buying it every time at 15, but... This will allow him to fight early yeah, a bit better nice. with his team, too, and add some extra damage that they definitely need. Because it feels like without, maybe without Eclipse, they can't fight too well early on. This could help. Quite a bit up from Boxy. Going to be able to allow Nisha to get the angle in on towards Watson. Quinn jumps across. Again, Liquid, they're fighting into a large number of gaming gladiators. Saber Light's going to try the angle. And come crashing in onto this. Gets the grab onto the back lines. He's caught the Crystal Maid as they take out the two supports. Liquid, Quinn. and it's Blade working mailed. out. They're able to split them apart, and Liquid take them down one by one. Triple oh. kill for Saber Light. Back to the aggression, working perfectly for Liquid. He gets the bing bong him as well, too, the Blade Mail. Quinn killed himself. Right back to right back to how it was before with Liquid dominating. Let's Watson look at that again. couldn't do much. A Quinn just sort of hanging in the sidelines there, looking for a chance to get back in. But uh, as you say, with that zip away, tries to turn and fight back. And at that point, it's all too late. Trampled and blade mailed. Sabre like cleaning up house, having a fantastic game here on the Primal Beast. Yeah, he's not absolutely dominating. He's almost got the BKB done. He's almost matching the farm of his Dusa. And Mika, he's, he's going Scotty. He's going Scotty, it looks like. Okay, well, that's fine. Radiant he wants to go down this route, too. I mean, they have such a tremendous lead anyway. Good aggressive wards, too. That's another thing that I'm seeing games struggling because yep. they fell so far behind early. They can't get vision out, and they can't actually take out these these wards. I mean, they, you know, does Mikkei really need to do anything? Not it, much it, so they, they've far. had 20 kills. He's only had to show up for two of them. No. You know? So Mick, he's, he could just keep hitting the creeps, hitting the neutrals. And it, he doesn't need to do anything right now. He is the, the fullback of the fullback. And the really in scary the thing... The backup plans. I mean, on top of all the other scary things, obviously, is that the BKBs are coming out for Nisha and the Primal Beast. So the mo pretty much all the damage that's coming out from gaming is magical. And it's especially going to be coming from the Eclipse. Now there's just no way to burst them unless they don't get the, go, don't get the BKBs off. And they don't really have the greatest forms of initiation yet at this point. Sofa will be found, but at the least that should give Quinn enough space to escape. Sofa gets left behind. Who are you going to give it to? They're giving it to Nisha. Nisha's probably telling them that he's... Oh, just kidding. Boxy! <laughs> All right, cool. I mean, he's like, bro, I was like, Nisha's right next Atos. to BKB, no, I'm, though. I'm going to take the kills this game. <laughs> that was pretty funny. It looks like they were saving it. Boxy's like, no, chill. Back to business. Philosopher's Stone also for Boxy, so even richer. And these wards, they just have vision of everything. They're setting up for Watson already. He does have vision himself, so should be able to sneak away. But every time he goes to hit a camp, they're just running at him. Look at five heroes collapsing on top of Watson. I mean, he's run so far, and they're still going to get they're him. They're still on top They're of still going to be able to cut him off there with Nisha and Insania coming in from the top side of the river. There's no space on the map whatsoever. No, Quinn is jungling top, Ace is to jungling top. bottom, Celery stacking. So there's just nowhere really for Watson to go, and Liquid is identifying that perfectly. Celery? Oh, oh. Ah. oh well. <laughs> That's not where you want to be. As no, that was that, that's, that's, that was that's definitely painful. one of those moments where he count, he kind of found himself in a place where he didn't want to find himself. <laughs> yeah. so, what, I'm here. What am I doing here? I didn't want to be here. I'm here. I'm dead. Two school bullies just jumping him. It happens. Uh, now there's this mid push coming in. You know, oh, it's like, well, I might as well turn up, stop us and pressure on. Nothing else is happening. And I'm I'm actually glad. You know, I was saying like I thought he was going to do Manta Butterfly first because that's the that's the we're dominating and I'm going to end the game on my two item timing. Scotty, yeah, either way, he changes it up. So. 
Solo Crest already finished up. Their timings are just crazy. It's everybody is so farmed on their team. And they're just continuing to just shrink the map and not let Watson play. Quinn has been literally playing in the dire jungle for the last like two minutes. It's the only place that he feels safe to farm with the aggression that's been put out. Oh, he needs his BKB. He's yeah, that, that's, it's so it's kind far. Of one of the, the, sort of, that's the, the mood he's on Radiant's right now. It's just like, guys, I'm, I'm AFK farming BKB. And, and that's not because he's mad. That's because it's the, it's the only thing really he can do as a, having a hope of turning up for these fights. Yeah. He turns up without it, he's dead. So he's just got to get that timing, hope for the best, hope that the game keeps going. Uh, so he can turn up and fight. I mean, it's exactly where he has to play. He has to just play kind of this AFK style for now. There's Watson trying to smoke and find places to go. Ace will get spotted. He's running. He's got blade mill pipe. And he's pretty tanky. We're going to keep searching for him. Oh, they know. They will find him very well played there once again by Sabala. He just, he just knows how to catch them every time. You cannot hide from him. I want to see more down of on this bottom line of the map. Saberlight, he always knows where they're heading. I want to see more of this uh, Saberlight Primal Beast. It's giving me like flashbacks of you remember like the when Saberlight first started, first getting in with his axe. Oh, remember like yeah. his iconic axe, kind of just jumping in. And this is bringing me back to the like Saberlight just dominating lane kind of thing. It's been, it's been a long time, obviously, but I hear a CM ult. Just clearing a wave, I guess. They're trying to just... It's its just desperation. It's they're, they're, they're just nuking waves, trying to find anything while Liquid... They're oh, just bullying. I mean, Quinn, looking for targets. He's not got a huge amount of mana here. Uh-oh. He plays way out of this. That's all the mana that he's got to use. He cannot. Uh, he's not got anything else to do. It was inevitable, right? You're farming this top side of the map. Eventually, you're going to get found. In yeah. terms of progress on the BKB, how much Wait, Watson? Make? He was hoping he's over the recipe. Oh, they got Watson again. Saberlight is just on him. And yeah, you can't get out of this. Oh? Oh? May maybe? No. <laughs> yeah, I'm just trying to make it exciting. <laughs> yeah, I'm just trying to help out the viewers here. <laughs> They are just anywhere. Anybody, show, anyone who shows on gaming is just hunted instantly. Oh, and, and the uh, ATOS. Boxy. boxy. You bully. Take it again. Take the kill. Wait. Good. Give it a there we go. He missed. Now Nisha again. Ah, there we go. He gave him a chance. <laughs> He's like, bro, if you're going to miss, I'm going to take that. And immediately pumps Nisha back up. I, I, I want to see Pugna so much more. And of course, this one may be Boxy a bit of an outlier, but... plays a lot of it right. I feel like he, he, he is one of the Pugners. Yeah, and this hero, I think, has... It's gotten buffed a lot of times, too, and it definitely has these type of games, especially versus Storm. I'm going to put this one out a lot of times, because it's one of the ones I really like to play or like to see versus Storm. Yeah, it's, it's looking phenomenal. And I don't even think I've seen him have to drain the Deuce, because it just hasn't had to happen. No, I mean, so. Mickey's just chilly. He's, he's not doing whatever needed to he really wants. be involved that much. He's turned up for a bit of a push here and there. Hello, Ace. But uh, he's just doing his job. And at the moment, that's sort of sitting back and uh, hitting the creeps. Now he's going to be present for this, but uh, they just can't fly into it. They have to back off gaming gladiators. They, they can't really touch this Medusa. Is it Roshan time? It might be Roshan time. Look at the line drawn. I can't tell which color that is, but I think if Radiant that looks like Saber Lit, perhaps. I think he's just knowing. They know that they're trapped in the base pretty much already at this point. It's 20 minutes in, and they are having extreme difficulties getting out. That's pretty crazy, actually. But Boxy, he's only got at least on his main account, and probably his own Radiant's account, because everyone, well, they're all good boys, aren't they, these pro players. Uh, it's uh, 49, only 49 games, and 80, a bit surprising. 86 percent of those games were played as core. So oh. the support pug the gameplay, I mean, maybe if any reason why we're sitting in play and get this farmed, you know, he's used to playing Look at the Sabre, let go. this game. I mean, this game, fog, it feels it's like it's over. It's, 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 it's felt like it has been. Yeah. He hit four heroes, though. Yeah. I, that was pretty I mean, beautiful. And Watson. They just died. High fives. I think, I think we go. Yeah, I think it's. Okay. They're not even going for rush. They might just go for the high ground here. 32 to 7. 23 minutes. I'll be down. We did it from Jenkins. They did just fly you in. Know, it was <laughs> Jenkins saying that he saw some members of Gaming Gladiators rolling out of the after party at the previous tournament at 4 o'clock this morning. That could be true. Uh, you know, maybe still uh, feeling the ramifications of that one. Well, no, they got over. destroyed. Yeah. yeah. Bottom lane in particular probably can't happen like that the way it did. You know, Saber Lake getting these solo kills constantly while Boxy was rotating yep. as well, too. So, do you agree or are you looking at this again and feeling that Gaming Gladiators might have some issues? It looks way better. It looked infinitely okay. better than last time. I like Liquid's draft again, though. I think, it, it, at least for me, it hits more synergy in terms of the way that they can play with each other. 
But I think gaming, it, it looks infinitely better than last time. I'm just a little worried of, of this Bloodseeker being put to the offlane and how much he's actually going to do in the game. Yes, of course, the job of him is to rupture the Pango. We see that Saberlight's gone for the shield crash fast rather than going for the speedy one since he's playing versus the rupture, so wants to try to have a better lane as well. That lane's going to be hard. Or it should be hard on paper, obviously. Sure. The Pango Nyx versus this Alchemist. They're trying to set up Watson for success this time around, so... Yeah, I mean, last game was literally the Saberlight Boxy Show. So this one, it should definitely be better for gaming. But we'll see in the mid-game, too, because gaming just didn't really play that great either. Besides their draft also looking a bit wonky for me in that last game, it, they were kind of all over the place. Quinn? I have the setup here with that Blood Grenade. And Chase Insania down! It's got two, one, two stick, oh, one more hit! It's not enough! It's close, but indeed not quite close enough to let them get the kill. That little two stick charge, just enough to keep him alive. He's gonna be able to go back to base, reset. That was a lot of time spent there from Token Chasing. He's still lingering in mid for a moment here, but. And that wizard did what? That is the four bounties for game in that. Wait, did they actually? Yep. Oh my god, with an outcome. With an outcome. All right. <laughs> okay, to that okay. feels pretty nice. And Tofu gets the D ward. Nice play from him. He yeah. like fake walked in, so Nisha moved, and he's like, oh, yeah, there's a ward here, so he gets that too. And overall, too, I, I like seeing Celery playing Enchantress way more than CM, I do have to say. Like, this is his most comfortable hero. Oh, this CM, he looked... Yeah. I mean, maybe he was just a bit out of it, of course, too, but he looked very... Yeah. Very underwhelming. Yeah, that lane... It was a lane. It, it just it, Yeah, that, that sort of... That, that, that just was one of... That feels like one of the worst lanes that we've seen game and glad it is having the same yeah. lane for quite some time, really. It was just rough. It was rough all round. Absolutely. Yeah, let's we'll see what Boxy's gonna do as this Nyx is. He's gonna get both of the couriers. All right. Unacceptable. Yep. <laughs> but they both lose it. They don't micro them. Just walked right under tower, and he was doing his little wave kind of pulling. Well, he was before doing the wave pulling, so he just killed couriers for free. That's the dream. When you're playing these melee fours, it's like, I mean, Earthshaker's not really played so much anymore, but a lot of these melee fours, that's what you play for. You play to put a ward down, you play to snipe the couriers and pull the lane. And yeah, he'll get that successfully. Yeah, let's look at him in mid. That's what they were talking mid about. so far. It's going very well for Damon, right? It is. You know, six and four on the Monkey King against the form one on the Queen of Pain. Top lane as well as... <laughs> what? Boom! He just walks up, throws his concoction at Saberlight and snaps him down! Ace is going to be able to get away. All right, so on top of four bounty runes, yep. he gets handed a first blood too. This is going to be one of the richer alchemists, perhaps. I think so, yeah, and this is... Yeah, it's just going to be a huge turnaround from what we saw in last game. You know, last time around, Saberlight was crushing it on the mm -hmm. offline. This time, he's just giving himself up as first blood to the Alchemist. And he's counterpicked. He's not only counterpicked in lane, but throughout the game, too. You can dispel the shield with the enchant. You have the rupture. You have instant disable that comes from Lion. You're versus Wukongs. So, Saberlight is definitely going to have a bit of a rough one, it feels like. So, initiation on the side of Liquid maybe will be a bit of an issue, too, in the game. So if this, he's off to such a rough start. This mid lane, right? Like, you do pick the Quop to have an edge against the Monkey King in the mid lane, right? It's or the first It's the uh, the first level that you have Scream instead okay. of having Dagger, and then you get two points Dagger, and then you try to bully, but I just don't even know if you still if you can. I'm, I'm, I'm just seeing this lane played out, and Quinn, he's, he, he, he's completely comfortable right now. 14 yeah. for 6 against the 10 and 1. He's getting plenty of last hits, plenty of denies. He's having an easy time. It should get harder. Okay. It should get harder for him, but he's got boots, and Nisha doesn't have blink, so he'll have to TP. <laughs> yeah, let's see also, because Shadow Strike is not something you usually want to have these points in. Of course, we talk about this a million times for the Queen of Pain. Never want to really put more than two points, or even any points in the laning phase, but he wants to try to apply some pressure. But yeah, it's just not happening. Yeah, yeah, Quinn's crossing this. Very good start for him. Ooh, big raise is bottom. Actually, both tanked double rays. Ace is really struggling. It's to be expected, though. They threw him to the wolves with this with this pick. Yes, he's still going to be able to do his job once he gets his levels with the rupture, but his farm is going to be quite weak. Top lane. Despite dying early, it looks like Saberlight's managed to calm things down a bit. He's getting yeah. a good farm out there. Good CS. Can never pressure the Alchemist by any means unless a rotation comes out, but... Speaking of rotation, it's actually Celery. He's doing the Enchantress, the standard Enchantress move. Trying to get the wrap around Can here. they set up onto Mickey? It's not a great creep. He's just gonna burn some mana. 
And they could actually die if they do go for the play on Tameki. They're gonna try. Let's see. They've got the setup into the blood ride, but that's yeah, risky. Not, not nearly gonna be enough. An ace. He could be dead here. They've got a blood grenade. I won't be able to quite line up a, a sort of the distance for the, the double raise. So Ace will live, but he, these are these are attempts from Gaming Gladiators to make something happen that aren't really making much happen at all. Yeah, I mean Ace is literally getting zero CS, so they're trying to make him get at something because he can't even walk up at all. And now they're going to start making some moves on Watson since the Enchantress left. They're going to look to apply some pressure onto him there. Yeah, we'll see how Ace recovers. This definitely feels a little bit scary. The fact that he's literally getting nothing, and Pango's getting a good amount. Did he put the third point in Shadow Strike? I think he did, right? So, alright, Nisha's in on the Shadow Strike. Yeah, I guess he trying. really wants to try to pressure that Lillian now more, but... Wait, Roche got him! Oh my goodness. Gaming just doesn't even get... Yeah, Boxy, he's, he's just having one of those days, yeah. days where he's just crushing, you know, he's crushing it. <laughs> <laughs> he's just completely... Can't even... You can't outplay this man. Okay, can Ace get a last hit? Oh, he can't. he's been sitting at 9, I think, for like a minute and a half. Okay, he got 10, but... Yeah, oh, look small. at his timing. <laughs> <laughs> all, all part of Boxy's plan. <laughs> <laughs> he was like, yep. I, I know he's coming through. I mean, he, he did walk. <laughs> well, I mean, it could actually have been something. Where he's like, oh yeah, he's coming through. But... Yeah, Mickey is getting absolute free farm. Uncontested free farm, and Ace is getting yeah, still... He literally cannot get a CS on. He got 10... That Okay, 11. Yeah, he's getting like maybe one, gets maybe like one. two every, waves. Every time you say he's not getting any, he, he gets, gets one. So I'm going to keep doing so it. So you got to keep doing it. Okay. You know, I, I help him out. He's having a tough time. He's having a tough time. <laughs> Another blood grenade. Insania. That's too wasted. Can't quite go for the kill there, but yeah, setting up Mickey beautifully for absolute free farm. Looking at mid still, even though three points in Shadow Strike, he's starting to do better. But Quinn's still farming just fine. And this is going to cause some results in later, you know, with his rotations, not having Radiant max scream. But we'll see what type of effects five. it does have. It's 6 minutes 30. Foxy. Oh, they get spotted. Oh, 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 they, they'll get him this time. They'll take the four at them. He's oh. done. <laughs> I mean, he's, he's playing with them. They, they get the kill, but it, it's four heroes having to turn it up is. for it. He's, he's putting that down as space made. Any day of the week. And Ace get another last hit. And another one. There. And they're going to be able to set up for the Wizard Rooms, get some stacks going as well, and Watson is still... Yes, not the same free farm as the SF. He did get a slow down a little bit there, but yeah, he's having a very good time. So yeah, infinitely better than that last game. That I think we all hoped for, but I'm just... Ace's net worth is just still very sad. And I think... Maybe not as good of a start as you'd expect for a team that got four bounty runes and first blood for the out. That's very true. Difficult to get aggressive in a lot of these lanes, though, with the way that we're seeing Liquid play. Quinn is trying, trying to, to make, make the moves. Lights here. I mean, they're, they're all in. They've got Nisha as well with the backup. They get the jump in on towards Tofu. He's going to try and get under the tower to save him, but Mickey's able to finish him off. Celery caught in the river of Stabilite. Nisha will be able to deal with him. Liquid, they'll get two kills. Gaming Gladiators not able to find any sort of trade there. They bring the numbers, Foxy. The creep. And Quinn's looking at a chance to get back in on this, but... You gotta be careful. Yeah, they have a tango? They, ah, they can't cut the tree. But... He might just be dead. He's looking very dead. He's gonna have to turn up for the balance now before he's able to build up the Jingu. Oh. He's under the tower, but they got him. Sableye's got him. Liquid. Don't fight this SF. He's yeah. got two stacks now. Don't give him more. Don't keep it rolling. We'll be able to secure the rune off of that too. A pretty huge move from Liquid, collapsing, bringing everybody together. And now that mid matchup, it's evened out. Quap is fine. Good levels, good move. Didn't have to use ult for the move either. And Boxley is ready to come and be nice and annoying here for Watson. Steal some creeps. Let me see that centaur and mind flare. Any second? There we go. Can you get it? He can. Takes two. There's a couple of CS there. Just attack. being pesky. Back mid lane. Mid. Get the setup. Enough. Ooh, just up. enough with that What's last right click from Quinn. Very nice. But Ace is going to need somehow to bring him back into the game. Because it's just the, the, the real big, the biggest concern is yes, the Alk is huge. Yes, the MK is still doing decent and everything. I just, I don't know how much Bloodseeker is going to contribute, but so it's maybe just a, literally just a rupture at this point in the game, with, unless they start getting him some type of recovery. Radiant are scanning. There's the smoke from gaming. 
I look at the top, don't want to continue to make sure that Watson has a good time. His farm's still very good, he's on track for a good Radiance timing. Liquid's bringing in the numbers as well though. Stabilite, right. he's actually going to be the one to try and start off the move with the Rolling Thunder. Uh, kind of jumps over Salary there, but still gets him on the roll back. So they'll get the kill. Watson, he'll turn and throw down a concoction. As Tofu's thinking of trying to see if they can fight back, but the Red Quim comes out. The Sonic Wave as too. well. Jumping from Nisha. They're on top of Watson. Watson will fall. They got Mickey, but they lose three heroes for this gaming gladiator. They may they lose Quinn as more. well. The stun's back up from Boxy as he's able to line it up on a Quinn. It, it's just not gaming gladiators day to day, folks. Not it feels. These moves now. They're losing so much, and they're, they're getting very little. They got one kill there, sure, it's Mickey, but they lose four heroes. And it was a rupture that came in, but it did pretty much nothing. Ace, he just can't contribute as a Bloodseeker with literally nothing. As, as This is your offlaner. That's the that's the big scare. And the com combination that comes out there from Liquid, they're team fighting. Their, their lineup for team fighting overall is great, especially if they ever have SF ult. The three main cores, right? All three cores have great team fighting capabilities. Dyer's While for gaming, the team fighting capability is going to be coming out from the Monkey King. Pretty much exclusively until Watson gets items. So it definitely feels hard for gaming to make those type of moves and fight back, it's, especially if Liquid has ults. If Liquid has ults up, I think he might have to just run away. 2k lead now for yeah, the team that picked well. up four bounty runes with an alchemist. And at the first, start. And first the, blood. This was an outcry that Watson he had four bounty runes, he had first blood. And he's only slightly ahead only slightly. of Saberlight on the Pango, who and gave Saberlight. up first blood. You know, Saberlight, he's cleaned up his axe after that, giving up that first blood. Three, one, and four. And, and he's right behind the farm of the Alchemist. He's already got a vessel, too. So I, I've been seeing this picked up a bit more in the offlane in particular. And this is a great game for it. Versus the Alk, versus Ench, versus all of them, actually. Everybody but the Lion. This is a phenomenal spirit vessel game. He's going to have it, yeah, very early. Relic is online. Yeah, like you said, only 600 ahead. That's, they set him up for this lane to dominate too, right? They picked the Ench Alk, they forced the Pango off lane, and yeah. Don't think Gaming got exactly what they wanted out of these lanes. Oh, it looked like that they maybe get something going around the fact that Quinn was having that that good time against Nietzsche in the matchup, but they, they didn't make much happen with it. Quinn tried to make the moves, it didn't work out. Top lane Ace will be able to save himself there as he ruptures Saberlight, stops him from being able to roll on. We'll be able to maybe disengage. They do have a ward that they are going to walk, actually run into Tofu instead. I'll give at least the room for Ace to back off, but the Tofu enjoy one final oh round of drain. Is he going to get away? He went to jungle. They oh, saw him going he's jungle. He's on the map. Boxy's on him already. He's got Carapace if he needs to. He's not going to kill. Easy kill. Oh boy, concerns for Gaiman. I, I was expecting a closer matchup than what we get. I mean, well, I'll be honest, I, I weren't expecting this, Fog. Yeah, I, they're, they're getting kind of crushed right now. I think it's going to all have to rely on to what they can make happen with the Radiance on the Alk, because as you see, like Ace, the contribution, it's eruption, it can just stop the roll instantly. So it's, it's tough to see how they bring him back into the game unless they start getting successful fights, but their lineup just doesn't have the best team fight. Lion's level 5, Ench is 5. Dyer's top yeah, they, I mean, they're definitely feeling the struggle today. Yeah. I'm feeling last night's after party. <laughs> yeah. Maybe. Maybe, <laughs> maybe. maybe. Again, Ace, uh, he goes, it, it, this is the other thing too. I'm like trying to think of what build he wants to build as a Bloodseeker. Do you just build for yourself or do you build for the team? You don't really go auras, right? So I see you going phase Falcon Blade and then he's going Blade It just it feels so awkward as an offlaner. You know, they, they kind of got forced into the position to put this as offlane, but yeah, this is not, not having much effect and not much to slow down Mikke's farm at all. But Watson is still top of the net worth. It's just, yeah, the other two cores are starting to run out of space. So let's see what Watson can do. Let's have a look. Can he carry this, Watson? That's what cut out for him. Have a look. And he's versus Vessels, and he's versus very high burst. Yeah, like they, they can just focus and kill. He yeah, can get 100 right, to zero. Until he's... I mean, but, but what, what kind of items does he need to be able to fight this? Maybe This might be a Radiance BKB, but I hate saying that one. So maybe Radiance Mantha, maybe Blink. I'm not sure, Owen. Duffin does not feel easy to fight into this lineup. They're Everybody's got so Quinn much damage. Here. Ooh, Quinn, good awareness. There's a jump out in time. Boxy was looking for the Wrath Brown. They're going to rupture Nisha. I don't know if they can do much with that. I mean, the rest of Liquid's coming in from the side. Game of Gladiators, they have to try and run, but Stabilite is already in with the Rolling Thunder. He's made the connection onto Ace and onto Celery. They will get Nisha. Okay. Watson came in. And they've got the Wukong's command down. Stun opening as well on towards Stabilite. It's a Good lot kill. of burst. Oop. Not enough. Not enough. Stabilite able to walk it off. 
He'll get away fine. He's even got a haste for a nice three-man concoction, but won't manage <laughs> to do anything with it. They get some. They, they get, get something. Nisha. Yep. But again, they're losing two heroes. The trade's still not benefiting them. Yep. But Watson's able to come in and at least get something. I don't think he got the last hit, though, did he? Uh, no, Celery was one who got it. Middle they have Quap Bolt ready. They can go again on Liquid. Gaming do not have Wukongs ready. Feels like they're pretty reliant around that one to be able to fight versus the Liquid Aggression right now. Dyer's middle tower has fallen. 14 minutes, Wisdom Runes. Liquid, rather, playing aggressive instead of looking to go back for those. Still looking to just occupy the map. Quinn. We'll have Maelstrom done. It's scary for him to walk up versus Quap. Bolt at the ready. Foxy. He's going for it. Yeah, there's no stun. <laughs> yeah, he's got the hex. But they should Yeah, but he's, they can play around with him. He's going to tick out. Oh, early yeah. Here. Ooh, ooh, the tower hit. Tell you what, you know, he gets the job done in return, Tofu. There you go. Get something. Oh, one of the better trades they've had this game. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. Liquid just continuing to play aggressive, occupying enemy jungle, waiting for fights to come to them. Requiem back up in 30, but they're not reliant on that one to fight. Wukong is up in 10 seconds. And I think they do... Okay, he is actually going to the BKB. I, s I mean, I saw he was queuing up. He actually queued up all three. He queued up the Blink, then he queued up the Manta, then he queued up the BKB. I suggested BKB because there is those two, those like three big ultis. It's just that... It means you like have to win the fights with that BKB timing up. So we'll see. Oh, oh, off the mark, Quinn. Boundless strike. Not, not making any sort of connection there. Well, on the plus side for him, even if it did, maybe they don't, right, don't get it anyway. Yeah. Slowing things down a little bit here, gaming, trying to get these next item timings. But Liquid, I don't know how much they're fussed about things being slowed down. They have a very, very good, like, well-rounded draft. And Ace, even though he is starting to get some recovery. Oh, 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 oh look at that. Watson, it's a juicy oh, one. Oh, it's found him, and they've got him with a Sonic Wave. To the drawing board. Pop the pinata. And <laughs> uh, he's he's had. Watson's number this entire series. Yeah, he's just a menace. First pick this time as well, too. Next, he's got Dagon. They've got the double Dagons at the ready. A lot of these heroes are just gonna fall over in an instant, it feels. So I gaming, I finish the BKB on Watson and then look for fights, perhaps. But Liquid, they're, they're gonna fight every time. They're gonna look to just run into every single one of these fights. Oh yeah, Saberlight's just having a phen phenomenal series. Dyer's phenomenal game again. Super tankies, almost got Crimson. Where's the damage gonna come out from gaming? These heroes just feel like they're getting too durable too fast. Especially that Pango. Illusion. Mickey? This is good setup. So if they've got enough burst. The Hex, the Finger, they they've do. done it. Very Look nice. The kill, now can they get out? Saberlight comes in with a Rolling Thunder. Tofu will be able to TP away. But Quinn will be left behind. But they but got something. They do get something in a D-Boss plan from behind. They'll, they'll, they'll take it. Yeah. I'll take it. It's not, you know, it's not a, a, the best thing in the world, of course, because you lose Quinn. But yeah, you get something. You reduce his, you know, reduce some of these souls a little bit attack. there. And Watson gets space to finish the BKB, too. So. I think there's only one way they can win this game. What is it? Get that Aghanims on out. Give it to the lion. Blood rage the lion. <laughs> He comes in. How are you even thinking of this? With this spell amped up finger, team wipe, <laughs> lion rampage, top of YouTube, highlight, we're there. It's gonna be brilliant. Brilliant. I can see it. I can't see it. We need the big lion comeback. <laughs> Precious bounty. He is getting time to finish the BKB, but yeah, time is just not favoring them because you see the, the network's just going up more for Liquid during that downtime. So even though Alkill have BKB, it's just the question is gonna be now, what do they want to do with it? I mean, I think you're right. He has and to, is it he gonna has be to a just a Manta Blink. I, I, maybe, I, I think he has to actually, I don't know if he can do the Manta. I think he actually goes just to go Blink Basher at this point. But we'll see, because Liquid, I think they're gonna look for every single one of these fights. Ace has to be careful. He's got Blade Mail. Backup comes in. Sonic Wave for Ace. Nisha blinked in. He did, but he's got backup. He Rolling does. Thunder comes across. They're trying to take him out. They'll okay. get him. Do you want the damage here with the four of them as Nisha's caught under the tower? Can we maybe get more kills here, Mickey? Requiem hits! He's ready to push back the three of them, jump in with the four man. Some shield crash there as well for Sableye, oh, giving wow. a hell of a lot of protection to fight on through it all. 
They try and take him out, but he's able to sl slide away with the swashbuckle perfectly fine. I mean, they're, back in. they're looking at it closing back in once more. Another jump forward from Sableye. He's blocking off their retreat. Beautiful. Allows Boxy to line up the two-man stun. The tips come out for Boxy, and they're back to dive in the tier two. Tofu's trying to hide. Sableye, he may just find him as well. The shield crush won't oh. get him. The TP, it won't save him, though. Four stacks. Not level 15 for the presence affecting buildings, but either way, Minus Armor started kicking up fast in the fight. Beautiful stun from Boxy and great reinitiation that comes out here from Liquid. Yeah. They nearly were able to keep Nisha safe, but uh, a little bit too much tanking the tower hits. Now, four has beaten down onto him. Beautiful so, from Mikke. This yeah. Requiem is actually so nice, the angle. Like, it's as the BKB is ending as well, too. They get the stun fall, and then the four man shield crash. I mean, at that point, it's over. It's over. That you, know, you, you can see them trying to hit Saber Light, but they're like, you know what, boys, we can't kill this man. No. We can't kill this man, and if anything, he's going to start killing us. And indeed, coming back in, blocking them off with these body blocks as well, making sure that the stun lines up. They're making it look easy today, Liquid. They sure are. And, and in particular, you know, Saber Light and Boxy, they're, they're stepping it up to another level this series. They're kind of just doing it on their own, these two. They still have lasting presence for how much longer? They actually can get, they can get Roche. He still has four stacks. I think they can just go for it. Yeah, I mean, there's SF plus Pango. Let's see that minus armor. Nobody's stopping you. Oh, minus 15. Game of Gladiators, just they, they can't even take the time to get down. No, they won't, they won't make they, it. They can't head over it. So this is no. going to be Roche down A, just going for Liquid. Whew. And Boxy's already scouting. He's got his calling blade. He moved it into the slot. He saw the monkey Radiant jumping in trees. Ooh, that attack. would be dirty. He might calling the tree. Is Boxy gonna get the right one? Oh, 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 I probably need to get. They, they got to get out of it, Gaiman. Can they all get out? Radiant Topu's got a blink. He's got a TP. Nisha's on his back. Should be out though. Nine K lead. Liquid. Now, I've even taken the top net with a spot. SF overpassed the elk. Even the Quap soon going to be doing so. Nyx is massive, almost the same as the as Ace on the Bloodseeker. Who, yeah, just it hasn't been having the effect I think they wanted. They really wanted to be able to get these ruptures off, have it like as this you know off laner to sack it, and it's just it's too sacked. And the ruptures just have not been having the effect at all. Boxy. He's looking for that tree. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, He's he knows. <laughs> Oh, Boxy. I mean, that was a this risk. Just too it was a risky little hop to do. Sure. You know, you just hop into the tree next to him there, Quinn. Right, Boxy just... Yeah. He had their number today, completely. Oh, this TP. Uh, I mean, he's got BKB. He's got Chemical Rage. Um, he's going to walk it off. Just walk it off. Ooh. Can't walk it off. All right. Well, that's that. Oh, well. I th you know what I think? They I think they need a good night sleep. Okay. We know they can do better than this. This today, this this wasn't what we were expecting to see. But Liquid came by. No mercy, none whatsoever. Boxy, of course, in particular. But I I, I have to highlight Saberlight a lot too. I think he's had a pretty phenomenal two games. Yep. And then he got counterpicked. Right. This is a game where he literally got like four X counterpicked as the Pango, and he has done just fine. Four one and fourteen. Only the, well, literally only died the once, and it was the first blood. Liquid now. It feels like they can go anywhere. They can do whatever they want around the map. Gaming. What do you do? Aghanim is lying. Yeah, Aghanim is lying. It's the only way. Bro. I want to forget about really that blink it. dagger. Watson, you got to make sure that Tofu's got an Aghanim's coming his way. Did uh, Ace take the right talent? He's not taking it yet, so can still take that plus 15% blood rage spell amplification. <laughs> Because that is what, that's a 45% spell amp. It is. It, 45% oh, 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 spell amp to Aghanim's finger. <laughs> he doesn't have that. <laughs> no, but he's got an alchemist. That's why he's got an alchemist. on his Yeah, team. he just needs to get 4k gold on and the He's already got 2k. <laughs> now, you're laughing. You're, you're killing see, me you're right now. You're going to see a If Watson queues up an axe, <laughs> imagine <laughs> that. <laughs> I am laughing. Ain't, no blink, ain't no blink dagger going to solve this 17k a gold. You deficit. are right. You are right about you that. Know but I mean, it, neither will Aghanim's just, <laughs> just to go out with a bat. Truly. Well, they might go off the bang anyway oh, pretty soon. Blink dagger. Disappointing. <laughs> Disappointment all round. There's the push. What do you do? Watson. He'll stun himself. Liquid, they're expecting the flank. They make the move over, even just to check, just in case. Just 
keep it in the Rolling. high ground. Let's see what you do. Tier three gone. A minute and a half on the stage. Just very close to Mika being able to get out that completed Daedalus. He just keeps getting buffed up. Bloodlust, Fire Shield, Solo Crest, Nisha. Also has in the barracks. He also has an Arcane Rune in Gaiman. When? Three men stun. Okay. They got the Wukongs out. Boundless is only going to connect onto the two of them. The turn and burst through The, the Red Moon catch Watson! He and, didn't uh, even get the stun off. Yeah, as soon as he walks to the fight, he's kind of out of it. We'll be able to put the BKB. He tries to run, but the right clicks are too much. He's out of the game for 50 seconds. Yeah. Ace is going to slowly but surely die as he tries to get Boxy. Won't be able to get him. Sableye toying around with Celery inside of the base. GG will be called. This series is over. Liquid take it. 2-0. Blue beat down. Both games about 23 slash 24 minutes in. Yep. Very quick sort of pace to them. Not close at all. No. And as